Hello, welcome to the Water Cube in Stockholm. Hi, Helen. This year, uh, would you mind introducing yourself? Sure, Helen. Uh, my name is Ganesh Pangari. I head the water program for Asia for IUCN. And can you show us your yeah, badge sure. as well? Yeah. It's great, thank you. And um, I'm sure uh, IUCN is the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest conservation organization in the world. It's more than 60 years old. We have uh, re uh, offices in all seven regions of the world, headquartered in Blanc. Okay, so that's really a unique thing. We're the oldest member-based organization in the world. Gnaw in Switzerland. In Gnaw, Switzerland is our headquarters. Yeah. And our Asia office is based in, um, in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. and, uh, which is where you're based. Where, where, which is where I'm based, yes. Wonderful. Yeah. And tell us um, why you're here at this World Water Week and what, what you're promoting as well. What yeah. Yeah, well, uh, IUCN is uh, the water program. Mm -hmm. and our slogan for this uh, World Water Week has been Nature on Tap. And what we're trying to say is that if you do not conserve the water and the catchments, the natural infrastructure, you're not going to get water for cities to drink. You know, that's our basic message for this forum, mm -hmm. at least. And what this means in very simple languages is that all of you get your water in taps at home. You know, where does it come from? Yeah. All this water comes from nature. And that's what we're saying. If you do not conserve nature, conserve the catchments of rivers, lakes, you know, and the groundwater, mm -hmm. you're not going to get water at home. And that's what we are saying. You need to therefore invest in natural infrastructure as much, and message. more and more. Mm -hmm. I think that's really what uh, our key message for this year's forum is. And tell me about the project that IUCN has recently launched. I, th I think, in fact, it, this World Water Week. Yeah, we, we've just, you know, IUCN has been doing one of our big flagship programs, what was the Water and Nature Initiative. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, and this time, we have launched a new project, which is called Bridge, you know, Bridge Over Troubled Waters, you know, yeah. Bridge, you know. Uh, what This project is an interesting project, which has been funded by the SDC, Swiss Development Corporation, and we'll be working in three regions of the world, in Central America, in Latin America, and in Southeast Asia. The core of this project really is, how do we link, uh, it's actually river dialogues, building river dialogues with, you know, the people who live on the ground, in the river basins, with the governance, that happens and at the, at the bigger level. You know, everybody's talking in the air. What we are saying, we have to, it's both ways. We have to work with communities and we have to work with the, the parliamentarians, with the politicians, you know, with the institutions which mm -hmm. manage these river systems. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of an, uh, a joint thing. Yes. It's both communities and linking with the governance. And I'll give you an example. I think that will be much yes. more interesting of what we're going to be doing in mm -hmm. Southeast Asia. Uh, Everybody, when we talk of rivers, we talk of the big rivers, the Amazon or the Mekong or the Ganges. But we have to also understand, and it's even a school kid will tell you, a river is made up by its tributaries. But a lot of time when, we, when people get very uh, passionate, they are only talking about the main river. And they forget the tributaries. You know, the tributaries become the Cinderella's of the story. Yep. And what we are trying to say, in the, for the example, in the Southeast Asia, where we are going to be working under this new project, is the Mekong River has transboundary tributaries, like the 3S a tributary, you know, which comes from Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, three yes. countries. Yeah. And that gets neglected, you know, and the, this tributary, the 3S, which is a transboundary river, mm -hmm. feeds about 20% of the flow of the Mekong River. So while, while everybody is talking of the main river, if they're forgetting what's happening on the tributaries, the river is going to die. It's very simple, as I said, but yeah. as complicated. It's a helpful example. Yeah. And just uh, lastly, can you just remind us what BRIDGE stands for? BRIDGE is basically Building River Dialogues and Governance. Building River Dialogues and Governance. governance yes. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Yeah. Thank you, Ellen.